Yeah, Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Zertucci here. All right, so as we continue to bring in more tackle, I, I know I've already done other videos with the fish bites, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of the amount of product we have to go through or that we do go through in them. And also, too, I want to reiterate how good these fish bites are in comparison to baits that you can get locally on the market and stuff like that. But the deal is, we've been using them for so long that it's a great product, and it ain't something that's just gonna go out and, you know, peter out on you real quick. We've caught a ton, a ton of fish on them. And also, too, it just um, became apparent to me that a lot of our subscribers have been watching the videos and they're backtracking, but I've got a ton of them out there. There's over 500 videos on our YouTube channel, so I know how hard it is and painstaking it would be to go all the way back. So a few of these videos I'm going to go back through and reintroduce some products that we have and that we carry and what it's about and how we use it and so forth. Like right here I've got the Powerline Shrimp Flavor and I've got the Powerline Crab Flavor and I'll, right now I have them in the big bag so I'm going to pull them out and do a little further explanation on them. Then we have our Flesh Pink Shrimp and the Flesh Pink Crab as well. Now, give me a second. All right, so here I've got the electric chicken shrimp flavor, and then I got the electric chicken crab flavor. And this product, like I said, I have to order at minimum these amount of bags per purchase just because we go through them so quickly. But, take it a step further real quick with y'all. All right, so as you will notice, this is the power lime flavor. You have shrimp and then you have crab. Then you have flesh pink, crab and shrimp. And then you have your electric chicken, crab and shrimp flavor. And as you notice, they almost look identical, but once they're wet and you're fishing at night or you've been going for several hours fishing, if you're using one specific color, but you have both of them in stock, how do you know which one's which when you're putting them on your hooks? So what we always do is we tell everybody to use the shrimp flavor on top and the crab flavor on the bottom. And that way you can know, okay, if it's on the top hook, then it's the shrimp flavor of whatever color it is. Or if it's on the bottom hook, then it's the crab flavor of whatever it is. Because if you're using one of these colors, how do you know which one's which or when they're biting? And then if you teach the guys around you whatever bait they're using, if they can stage them like that, then y'all can work together to find out which baits they're biting on. Especially if you only have two rods, then you can only do like two types of bait. You know what I mean? Or these two. Well, if you got six flavors here and you got two hooks a piece, that's the problem you're gonna run into. Or say you have two rods with one hook a piece. Well, then you're still leaving out four other baits. But if you and your buddy are using two rods a piece and y'all start finding out which ones they're using, then that will be easy because he'll know, oh, I'm already using the crab flavor or I'm already using the shrimp because he's got one hook or you have one hook. But when you have two, this is going to be the problem. How do you determine which one's which? So do it by that shrimp on top, crab on the bottom, and that'll help you land more fish. You'll start being able to zero on on which flavor they're hitting on that day. And that's the other thing I always get asked, well, which one's your favorite one? As you can tell, I've got the six here and I'm missing the sand flea. They didn't have it in stock at the moment, but it's coming in as well. So when I buy these, these are the top seven. I'm missing sand flea, but when it comes in, I'll, I'll show that one as well. These are my go-to colors for anything with the fish bites, for salt water, fishing the bays, fishing the jetties, fishing the pier, even offshore I've taken it and it has worked very well. So, all right guys, that was just a quick little rundown on the type of baits we like to use. I'm going to do a next, another video on how I'm actually hooking them on the hook and so forth. All right.